Welcome to Mumbo Jumbo Kids Channel. Rapunzel. Mo and Joe are walking back home from the ice cream truck. They are both having their ice creams. Just then, Mo notices a strange purple vegetable growing in one of the gardens. Hey, look at that! Is that a cabbage? No, a cabbage doesn't look like that. It is something else. What do you think it is? I'm not sure. But I have never seen something like this. It is such a beautiful color. Well, only one way to find out. He plucks the vegetable. It comes out from the root. As soon as he does that, they get sucked into the hole left behind by the plant. They end up in a village in a time from a long, long ago. What did you do? Where are we? I don't know. I didn't do anything. You, you plucked out that cabbage thing? But you said it's not a cabbage. Will you focus on the problem, Joe? She is right. That is not a cabbage. It is a rampion. Mo and Joe turn around. They are surprised to see an old woman standing behind them. What is a rampion? It is a special vegetable that the witch grows in her garden. They are her favorite. If I were you, I would keep it hidden. The last people who stole them from her suffered terribly. A witch? People suffered? What are you talking about? Scene of 16 years ago. A couple lived next to the witch's house. Everybody knew that she was a bad-tempered witch who must not be angered. But the couple was not afraid. They were nice people and believed in the good in everyone. And so they lived peacefully. Then came a time when the couple was going to have a baby. One evening, the wife said to her husband, Look at those beautiful rampants growing in the witch's garden. I really want to eat some. Won't you get them for me? My dear, I will get you anything you want. Can I buy you some from the market tomorrow? No, I tried those already. I want only the ones from her garden. That night, the husband sneaked into the witch's garden and stole some of her lovely rampions. As soon as the wife had one bite of the rampions, there was a loud bang on their door. It was the witch. You thieves! You stole my favorite rampants from my garden. The very thing I love so much. Please forgive us. We did it for our baby. For your baby? Eh, well, then you will pay for this theft with your baby. Before the couple could say anything, the witch vanished and they never heard from her again till their child, a beautiful girl was born. I have come to collect the payment for my rampants. The girl belongs to me. 
The couple pleaded with the witch, but she wouldn't hear of it. She took the little girl and vanished into thin air. Oh no, that's terrible. What happened then? She named the little girl Rapunzel. She loves her like her own daughter, but she keeps her locked in a high tower that has no staircase or door, only a window. Only a window? Can we go and see this high tower? No, no, you must never go the high tower. If the witch sees you, you will be in big trouble. We'll be very careful. Please take us there. I can't take you there, but I can show you where it is. Thank you very much. The old woman showed Mo and Joe where the witch's tower was. Then she bid them good luck and goodbye. Mo and Joe quietly snaked closer to the tower to see what was happening. Suddenly, they heard some noise ahead. It was the witch. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! so that I may climb the golden stair. A thick plait of long golden hair came flowing down the window. It looked just like a rope. The witch caught hold of it and climbed up to the window. Did you see that, Mo? That's Rapunzel in the window. It's her hair. It's long like a rope. Shh! Quiet, Joe. When the witch saw Rapunzel, she looked very sad. What is the matter, my dear? Why do you look so sad? Mother, what is there in the world outside this tower? Angry, there is nothing good in this world outside of this tower. This is your home. Becoming soft again. Trust me, my darling. I don't let you go into the world. Because there are many mean people out there. You are safe only here. Very sad and feeling bad. Please forgive me. I trust you, mother. Back to normal. That's good, dear. It is time for me to go now. I will come back tomorrow. As soon as the witch leaves. Come on, Mo. Let's go up the tower. He is pulling Mo foot of hiding when they hear a sound behind them. Mo pulls him back in and signals him to keep quiet. There was someone else too besides Mo and Joe in the forest. It was the prince. He too had seen everything that had happened. And now he was planning to climb the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so that I may climb the golden stair. Rapunzel's hair comes down and the prince climbs up. Seeing the prince, Rapunzel is surprised. Who are you? I am the prince. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who was that witch? Are you a prisoner here? My name is Rapunzel and that was my mother. I'm not a prisoner. This is my home. I have lived here all my life. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. What do you mean? You have lived here all your life. Haven't you lived in any other parts of our beautiful world? No, I haven't even stepped down from the tower ever. My mother says it is not a safe place for me. She says the world is a mean place. Oh no, the world is a beautiful place. You must come and see it. Really? I don't know anything about the world. Won't you tell me something? Yes, I will, my beautiful lady.
I can hear them till here too. Finally, Rapunzel is not alone. Yes, I agree. But I'm so sleepy. I think I'm going to sleep for some time. Yes, me too. I'm very sleepy too. Let's sleep for some time. Mo and Joe fell asleep at their hiding spot. And the entire night, the prince told Rapunzel stories about the world, and she told him the truth about her mother, the witch. As they talked more and more, they fell in love with each other. When the morning came, the prince kissed her goodbye. I will come back tonight after the witch has left. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so that I may climb the golden stair. Mo and Joe wake up because of the noise. It's my mother. She has come early. Quickly, hide behind the curtains. She must not see you. Rapunzel, what is taking you so long? Sorry, mother. Here, come up. But she can smell something is wrong. Who was here? How dare you betray me? The price of betraying me is death. Mother, please listen to me. I'm sorry. Quiet girl, you will never see your prince again. Stop it, witch. The prince tries to attack the witch. The witch casts a spell and the prince is thrown out of the window into the woods. Mo and Joe see him thrown out. Oh no, Mo, the prince. Let's go find him. He'll need our help. They rush off. Mother, what have you done? Get away from my eyesight. The prince must be dead by now. You do deserve the same end. I am banishing you to the forest. You don't deserve the love and comfort I have given you. The witch cast another spell and Rapunzel was thrown into the forest too. Heartbroken, she got up. Her world had turned upside down. Hoping to find where her prince must have fallen, she started wandering through the forest. What she didn't know was that her prince was injured but alive. He was trying to make his way back to the tower to come and rescue her. Meanwhile, Mo and Joe were also looking for the prince. It's been hours since we have been walking. Where do you think the prince must have fallen, Mo? Did you hear that? Hide! It's the prince! It's Rapunzel! They are both alive! My prince, you are alive! Rapunzel, my love, are you alright? Yes, I am. Now that I know that you are fine, let's leave this forest. Yes, my love. Let's go. Prince kisses Rapunzel. Joe and Mo are watching. Just as the prince kisses her, Joe and Mo are transported back to their own time and place. What was that? I don't know, Mo. 
but it was strange. Were we really in another land? It's getting dark. I think we should just go home right now. I agree. Let's go. Hi, I'm Mo. Hi, I'm Joe. For more videos, subscribe to us 